Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. And just today on Facebook, somebody asked where she could find some Greek patterns. And uh, I couldn't, I didn't know where you could find any. So I just brought in a clip art and I, I redrew this. And as you can see, it's good, clean vector art, smooth lines. But here's, here's the clip art I brought in. And it's the most heavily guarded uh, watermarked clip art I've ever seen. I mean, it's, it's, it's got watermarks all over it. And I don't blame the guy, but it can be done. So what we're going to do, we take the clip art, we're going to trace it. I always use outline trace clip art and let it do its thing. And then this video is going to be rather long. So I'm going to try to break it up into like three parts, uh, how to draw this. And um, anyway, you can see it's already cleaned it up a little bit. Press OK. Your real, your, your trace copy would normally always be on top. And I like drawing in the center of the page. This item is about under, a little over 16 inches. So I've got my nudge factor set on 18 just to get it out of the way when I need to. So let's, let's take these and get them out of the way a little bit more. So they won't be in the way. And this is what I'm going to do first. I'm more concerned about this, these circles. So what I'm going to do is, and I always do this, take a rectangle and go around your box. So, and I'll show you why in just a second. Grab your clip art, break, ungroup it all. Now go down and get your smart fill tool and, and try to fill in and see it didn't work. Yeah, it did. I'm going to move it over uh, the uh, whatever amount. I'm going to turn it black. Okay. Now, we want to keep this thing together because we're going to need it later, late, later. So, I'm going to control G and I'm going to move it over two inches. Now, we want to move this back two inches. And it traced it pretty good, but it's really rough. So what I'm going to do, I mean, that's, to me, that's not acceptable. Left click, well, you got to click on your item. Left click, no fill, right click, hairline, and let's clean this one up. Just one of them. There's 27 of these, so you wouldn't want to have to clean them all up. And all I'm going to do is just take it around the rough edges and get it where it's a little smoother. Now you, if you have X7 or above, you could actually probably use a smoothing tool, but I'm trying not to use it because uh, people that don't have it don't make them jealous. And for the video, that's probably good enough. You don't want to go too far. You're going to think lose things like that. So that's pretty good. Now take your two part line and I'm sorry if I'm a little bit confused. Corel has gone and changed my whole page up. So I'm going to get my two point line and I'm going to draw a line right there and I'm going to draw a line right there and I'm going to delete everything outside my lines. And I don't even want this interior circle and I'll show you why in just a second. Now there should be probably some things on the bottom left and there are and you can't really break the curve apart and, and just remove them because there we don't want to we don't want to do that yet uh, well we don't want to do that probably at all now like i said there are there is 27 of these items and the reason i don't want the um the interior um uh, circle because I'm going to show you why because it could that's just another line you're going to have to match up so now take your item it's still something still down there let's try a breaking curve apart yeah it worked just get rid of that trash now you got just your item get out a calculator go control D and make a duplicate of that item Double click on it and move your rotation to the center. And that's why I've got my indexing lines uh, to the center. 
There's 27 of these divided by 360 divided by 27 is we're going to rotate it 13.333. Now what we want to do, we want to look right here and see how our nodes are matching up and they don't. So we want to, we want to uh, remedy that right now. And what you can do is just delete that line and then reconnect it. Maybe you can put a little bit of a curve back to it. Grab this one, control D, move it over double 26.666. Let's check our alignment. Still a little bit off. It's always easy to kind of take it away. If you can see a crack, it's not going to work. Now, right here, I would test it. Get out your to uh, your freehand tool and do this. Go get your smart fill tool. Okay, we have no breaks, it's working. So get rid of this line. Very easily, let's get rid of our box for a second. Let's group these together. Control G. Can make a duplicate of it. Put the rotation in the center. And a lot of times it looks like it's not in the center when you do it, but it is. Now we need to rotate times three. It'd be 39.999. And I, you could check the, you know, make sure you're not leaking, but we're going to go ahead and uh, make a duplicate of that. I'm going to have to get out a calculator point. Times three. I need to move up. Now you need to rotate it one nineteen point nine nine seven. Well, that didn't work. I guess I just need to rotate it thirty nine point nine. And we'll start all over. Yeah, I'm only going to grab one of those. Control D. Thirty-nine point nine 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 times two. I need to rotate it seventy-nine point nine nine eight. And then Corella take over. Now they should match up, but sometimes they don't. So take your box, and the reason I'm putting that box around there is in case you have a leak, it won't leak everything. We did it. It worked. That's because you reset that one that you're going to move. Now, let's take away our box, and we just need to draw a circle. And this is why I like drawing in the center of the page. Make it a little smaller. Zoom in here a little bit. Okay. Now fill this in with, and I need to set mine on black. There you go. There is the first part. Group this together, control G, and move it out of the way. Hope that helped a little bit. And Thank you for watching, but look how clear or clean our lines are now. That's the first part. Stay tuned for the other parts. Thank you for watching.